Welcome to a brief introduction of what the heck Brad Pitt was talking about when, as Tyler Durden in the 1999 film Fight Club, he suggests that human sacrifice somehow led to the discovery of soap. Well, it turns out that the chemistry is all there, so let's take a look at it. The explanation that he gives is essentially this, that wood ashes, rainwater, and the fat of dead bodies can combine somehow in a process that creates soap. The question today is, is this for real? Can you actually make soap from these ingredients? It turns out that the answer is yes. Let's start breaking down Mr. Durden's theory here. Now he suggests that bodies are burned and sacrificed, so of course to burn something you need wood. And wood from trees contains lots of molecules. It contains DNA, proteins, and cellulose. All of these compounds contain a vast array of elements, including, but definitely not limited to, potassium, sodium, and calcium, and the nonmetals carbon, sulfur, nitrogen, and hydrogen. Now, when we burn wood, we get oxides of these elements. So let's throw a torch on there and convert all of these elements down into their oxide forms. Now what's important to recognize here is that some of these oxides are metal and some of these oxides are of non-metals. Those non-metal oxides actually make their way into the atmosphere as gases and escape. But the metal oxides on the other hand tend to be solids and those are what remain in the ashes at the bottom of a wood fire. But that's not the end of the story. In the story, some rainwater comes along and permeates through those ashes. Now when we drop water on a metal oxide, another reaction occurs and we create what's known as a metal hydroxide, also known as lye. This is the crucial ingredient to which Tyler Durden refers in the movie. But we're still missing one of our components. We've got the water, we've got the ashes, we still need the human sacrifice. So let's add him to the pile. Now that we've got our human sacrifice present, we've got our final ingredient, fat. Chemists call fat triacylglycerides, and they look like this. Now it's a pretty complex structure, but it's easily broken down by, you guessed it, metal hydroxides. When those metal hydroxides react with the triacylglyceride, they break some bonds within it, creating two familiar materials. Glycerin, which is found in hand creams and is used as a precursor to nitroglycerin, the explosive, and also fatty acid salts, better known as soap. Now the glycerin is not too important to finishing this part of the story, so let's put that away for now. But what is important to finish the story is this. Professor Durden suggests it's those fatty acid salts which crept their way down the hill as the water drained away, ending up in the river thereby creating a region where people noticed their clothes got cleaner when they washed them. Did this really happen? It's very hard to tell. Could this have happened? Absolutely. All the chemistry is there for this story to be true. That's all for now everyone. I'm Professor Davis from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.